All right, Zinnidians, we're back with Lady K. It's been a while since we've been on a breakdown, isn't it? That's true. I don't think anybody's done a breakdown in this. This is a really old photo that came out of the west coast of Florida. Looks like a big orangutan, doesn't it? Yeah, wrong color. Well, yeah. So now there's two photos. And what I find interesting is there's movement. Now, the lady supposedly was an older woman, sent in the photo, said this thing was eating the apples, and said she took a picture and was startled. Uh -huh. And said the thing was seven and a half feet tall, kneeling down. That's pretty tall. Yeah. It's got red, red glowing eyes. It's got a humongous hand on it. And you'll notice that the vegetation moves. Look at the size of that hand. With fingernails. Oh, yep. Isn't that something? Yeah, that's a good hand. So I put the two different... What I did was I superimposed the two different photos together to show that the vegetation moves as the thing backs up. She claims she took the picture and was startled and then backed up. And the perspective changes in the photo and agrees with her statement. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. See? She was wondering if somebody had misplaced an orangutan. <laughs> So it was an awful big orangutan. Yeah. Look at the size of the arm on that thing. So I wanted to calculate how big it was. And so I looked up these palm, skunk palms or palmetto palms or... Palmetto, yep. Yeah. And those leaves there are about two and a half feet. So I calculated two feet. Right. With the one closest to it and came up with the arm being five feet long. Oh, wow. That's really long. Yes. It matches her saying the thing was seven and a half feet tall kneeling. Now, well, maybe it's maybe because the fronds look a little bit closer, don't they, or no? Well, I picked the one that was closest oh, to it, and then okay. I I went only to two feet. I didn't go two and a half feet. Right. But if this thing is real, this bears brings to question all the other, like flare footage and stuff of skunk apes that do not show this excessively long arm. I mean, that's that's true. That would be an inconsistency. Yeah, because that arm does look like the length of an orangutan. See, what I did here was I animated it. See how the vegetation moves yeah. when, when the thing backs up? I mean, if it's a fake, it's extremely well done for, for two still photos. You put a lot of effort into it. Right. The one thing that bugs me is the face looks kind of static. Yeah, so it doesn't change much. Yeah, but it could have been snarling the whole time. Who knows? Is it actually snarling in that photo? Well, I don't know if it's snarling or not, but it, the second photo, it's showing its jaws. The first photo, if you adjust it right, you can also see that it's showing its teeth. Jaw, teeth. Uh -huh. So on a scale to 110... 10 being a skunk ape, Lady K, what would you give this on a, for a rating? It's a really good, it could be a really good costume. I, I can't say, I mean, it, it's, it's good that the stories line up, but, you know, I, I don't know. I'm going to have to say a four. Really? I guess. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to give this an eight. I can't see anything in here that tells me this is a fake. The only thing that I question is the face looking the same. Right. And the fact that it came from an anonymous source. Right. The hands are really good, though. The hands are amazing. Incredible. Right. I'm surprised. And if look at that arm extension. I mean, if that's five feet or six yeah. feet, that's got an arm five to six feet long. I mean, that's think about, crazy. That's ridiculous. Yeah, it is ridiculous. I mean, who would make an arm extension that long and then make that kind of a detailed hand that you can barely see in the photo. Yeah, it's a good hand. Really good hand. I think it might be a real monster. Huh? It was Never know. Eating apples. I'm, what did I give it for a rating? Eight. Eight. Yeah. All right, Zenyetians, leave your comments down below. Leave your own score. <laughs> there you go.